Okay, so let's talk about it. Why can't people be successful with selling digital products through their social media? And personally, I have personal experience with this, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to put these numbers on screen to show you guys and flex on you or anything like that. Um, I just want to show you that I actually have experience when it comes to selling products through my Instagram, through my YouTube, through my Facebook, whatever it may be. So I'll put some screenshots on screen right here so you get an idea for how much um, I've done over the few uh, the past few years when it comes to online courses, products, Notion templates, whatever. Okay, so it gives you an idea. Affiliate deals, all that stuff that kind of comes along with social media. And whether it's in my private community, in DMs, anything these days, I constantly get asked, uh, Dane, how come I can't sell anything? How come you're able to sell things through your social media and I'm not? And there's a simple answer and there's a detailed answer. So the simple answer is that you just don't have loyal fans. <laughs> you don't have a built up audience that actually wants to buy stuff from you. So I'll explain the long answer now that explains what I just said a little more in detail. So the main problem that people don't seem to realize is that they're trying to sell products way, way too early in their, I guess you can say social media uh, venture, their social media, whatever, journey. Um, they see their, maybe one or two of their videos gets a bunch of, of views, they get, a, they get a few followers from it. Um, maybe there's a couple comments. Anyway, it's like, okay, now, now I'm famous. Let's start selling things. Let's start making money. Let's monetize this. And the problem with that is, is that if you do these, you got there's a really fine line from what I've experienced. There's a really fine line when it comes to selling products online. If you do it too early, you're going to leave a very sour taste in your followers' mouths. Very sour, right? They're going to look at you and be like, wow, this person is a complete sellout. I didn't even ask for this product and now they want to take money out of my pocket. That's where the issue starts to arise. It's when you have like a thousand, maybe two thousand followers on Instagram or, or a few, few hundred subscribers on YouTube. That's when the issue starts to arise because you start to try and sell products way too soon. And like I said, it leaves a sour taste in your, in, in your followers' mouths. And don't get me wrong, I tried to do this too. Because I was desperate to make money online. Like I just wanted to figure out a, a way that I could do it without having to go to a job all the time. And unfortunately, the same rule that applies to everything in life is it's a long-term game, right? It's a long-term game. And I'm st like, arguably my account and my stuff, like I, I, I personally think that I'm almost too early to start selling stuff. I have 160K on, on Instagram, about 180K on TikTok, maybe like 30K total on, on YouTube across my different channels and I sell stuff and it works it makes me some income but I've realized that even at my size right now it, it does leave a sour taste in some of your followers mouths and you get unfollowed right and the reason why it's kind of worked for me is because there's enough people in that group I've built up this solid following over time provided enough value in the form of videos and just tutorials and, and behind the scenes content whatever it may be that's in my niche which is like fitness motivation minimalism whatever I provided enough value over time and built up that I guess you can say trust in my followers that okay Dane's given me enough value I don't think he's a sellout because he's trying to sell me something right now I think he's just offering more value and maybe I owe him something at this point right because I've built that following over time I didn't sell a single thing through my Instagram until I got to around 70,000 75,000 followers and the reason I did that is because I knew that if I started selling things early, I put myself in my followers' shoes, right? If I was following Dane and he had like 2,000 followers, I just clicked follow like two days ago, and now he's trying to sell me something, 
personally, I don't love that. It's just not a good look. And don't get me wrong, I've done everything wrong too. In the beginning, I was trying to sell courses, I was trying to sell this, trying to sell that, without a following. So, like, this isn't me just, like, (laughs) basically, like, taking you into the principal's office and and getting you in trouble. (laughs) This is me speaking from someone on the same level trying to figure things out over time and trying to make it so that you don't make the same mistakes that I made when I was... (laughs) maybe 18, 19. Because it, it just, it makes things worse. And then you try to build up that credibility again and you're starting from zero as soon as you start to, as soon as you start to sell things too early. So, one second. What I'm trying to say is that don't start selling things through your Instagram, through your social media, your email list, whatever you got going on too early. You have to have a build up. The buildup is so, so important. A buildup from zero to 50K, a buildup from this amount of engagement to this huge amount of engagement that it's like, okay, there's enough people here. They've been following me for a long enough time. I've built up enough like credibility. Uh, They trust me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That now I can go ahead and say, hey, what would you guys want from me if I were to sell something and give them some options? Would you guys want a course on this? And that course should follow your niche. For me, I, I, I sell an edit, a video editing course because my Instagram videos are all about, are, 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 I guess, decently edited videos. And the most common question that I get is, hey, Dane, how do you edit your videos? Right? So basically take those as survey results and think to yourself, how can I answer the needs of my followers? And for me, it was people ask me how I how I edit my videos. So I made a course teaching people how to edit like I edit. So before you even think about selling a product, make sure there's demand for that product. For me, my followers wanted an editing course. So that's what I made. And it sells really well. The numbers you saw at the start of the video came from, the majority came from that course and it's selling. So maybe your followers, maybe you're in like a cooking niche. I don't know. This is just an example. Maybe you're like a baker. And your followers have been begging you in the comments, in your DMs for the longest time saying, hey, like, can you make us a recipe book? Or can you teach us how you do this so well? How you do that so well? And usually, usually, most of the time, the product that you end up selling is something that your followers not not want, not something that you want to sell to them that you think is going to do well. You have to base it off of what your followers are asking from you because there's already that pent up demand from the people that follow you. That's why it's so important to build that following in the beginning because if you don't have that following in the beginning, no one's sending you these questions. No one's sending you these DMs saying, hey, can you help me with this? Or how do you do this? How do you do that? You don't have that feedback, those survey results, I like to call them. It's not really a survey, but it's just, it's organic questions coming from your following. And if you don't have a following, those organic questions are never going to come. So you need to build up a secure following that has credibility, that basically builds credibility around you. Your followers have trust in you. And then you'll start to get those questions based around your niche. And then you have a perfect product market fit for something to sell. That's what I learned when it came to selling my editing course. It basically sold itself because there was so much demand, so many people wanted it. I barely had to do very much marketing. To this day, I haven't spent a cent on ads on my editing course, and that thing has done close to 100K in sales. And I started that December 2023. Right now, I sold that in January of 2023. So it hasn't even been a year yet. And that thing on on its own has done close to 100K, maybe even over 100K at this point, I'm not sure. But that's because there's already predefined demand. I didn't have to go out and make that demand. I had followers who wanted to have that course from me, right? They wanted to learn. They wanted to learn how to edit videos. Simple as that, keep it simple. Don't try and make your own product market. Let your followers do it for you, okay? But like I said, it all comes back to if you don't have followers, that's not gonna happen. And that product is never gonna come to life. It's never gonna sell because there's no audience for it, okay? So moral of the story here with this video is 
build up a following that is loyal and asks you questions about your niche, about what you do, and then serve them a product that directly fits with those questions that they're asking you, okay? That is the long story. I told you there's two parts. I can tell you a, a, a short story, short form of this, and a long form. The long form is what I just told you guys. Hopefully that helps you guys. If you're someone who's starting to consider selling products, make sure you can check off your list. Do I have a following? Do they trust me? Am I credible? And does my following ask me questions about something that could be a product that I could sell to them as an online course, a digital product, whatever it may be, okay? So that's what I've learned over the past four years. Take that as you will. And uh, you don't have to listen to me. I'm not like, I'm just some kid who sells stuff online, so. Nothing crazy going on. You can tell by the production value of this video. I'm not doing any fancy editing or anything. I'm just in my car drinking a coffee and blabbing my mouth. So if you did get some value from it, let me know in the comments. But anyways, that's it for this one, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.